From Minecraft mods that added some really realistic physics, to mods that drastically changed the game and how it's experienced. And even a few awesome creations made possible with the Create mod. I am the Derpy Well, and in this video I will be showing off some of Minecraft's most insane mods and creations made possible by players in the community. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps so much. Thank you. For our first clip, Crispy French Fry made a cute mini desert temple with a chisel and bits mod. Rest in pieces. Halpner, a German YouTuber and developer, created this mod that makes Minecraft physics really realistic. And this is the end result. It's a bit graphic, but at the same time, just so cool. I can't stop watching. But then why is my first thought, what would triggering 1000 TNT blocks look like? And what happens if I blow up a village? I'm not crazy guys, I promise. This one might lag you out, Salamantic showing us what a 512 chunk rendered distance mod looks like. Ovens are so overrated, who needs them, especially when you can cook your food off the heat that your GPU is going to generate by running this mod. Although to give it credit, apparently it's not that bad as it takes advantage of some performance tricks. Zach TGZ showing off the power of the chisels and bits mod. By making a circular window in his survival world, you don't see them very often do you? When was the last time you saw a circle in Minecraft? Okay, okay, this one is insane. The block front mod adds in realistic war battle scenarios, and it actually works for Minecraft 1.19, the wild update. I could watch this kind of stuff all day. In fact, I have a full video on my second channel. Yeah, that's right, I do have a second channel where I upload daily videos. Go check it out. It's an actual daily dose of Minecraft. When I first saw this, I was blown away. Remington, the developer that has managed to create a real-time strategy mod that allows you to control a group of villagers, these villagers can actually mine, craft, and build anything you want. And there's also a few presets. You can interact with their inventories and assign roles. It's called Mine Fortress, and you can find out more on their website linked below. It's a really, really cool one, and you should definitely know about it. Fuse 7 created an entirely new biome, dubbed the Charred Forest. Everything about this is just so eerie, and that's definitely by design, and it's actually one of the few biomes that actually makes me scared to be in. The atmosphere is just so unnerving, and if he wanted to make it perfect, all he would have to do is add in a few custom hostile mobs, and it would just be flawless. Delta 2 Force made a mod that implements untitled Goose Game mechanics, and he even rebuilt one of the levels. I'm not sure why, but watching this has just put a stupid grin on my face, and I just can't get rid of it. Why is the chicken so cute? Okay, okay, controversial take. Cubes are overrated, right? If only we can get rid of them and move to something with less pointy edges. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. I feel a bit uncomfortable now. I want to go back to the cubes. Using the mod No Cubes, Sindo Man managed to finish the entire game. What are your thoughts on this kind of mod? It changes movement and combat mechanics to something a little bit more theatrical. And it definitely has a Minecraft Dungeons kind of vibe and I love that game so that has a plus from me. It's called The Mo Bends and it's a visual change only. Augmented Interactions is a mod that aims to immerse the player into the world by making new and interesting animations around the interactions it has with the world. But what do you think? Recruits 9 made something for all you builders out there that I think you will appreciate. It's dubbed the Effortless Building mod and it now supports circular build modes. 
which is a huge win for me. I mean, I can get behind anything that builds for you, especially since uh, I'm not the best at building. So if this is going to build me a mansion without me even trying, I'm getting this mod. Guards are already pretty annoying and scary, but this mod just takes it to the next level. My brain can't comprehend the logic and code that must have gone into this one to pull this project off. Danny Boy Thomas has created this mod that without any prior knowledge or terrain details can dynamically fill any hole you come across. Finally, something to get rid of all those creeper holes surrounding my base. Mr. Crayfish out here doing the Lord's work by making this mod that actually lets you pet your dog. It's so cute. And, it, and to be fair, I think this has to be the best one we've featured so far. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a dog person. Or maybe I am. This player has made it so you can use soul soil to grow crops in the nether. And instead of using water to hydrate, you use lava instead, which is a pretty cool concept. Using the create mod, Mr. Screw D Duck made a wipeout-esque obstacle course. And this is the final result. I want to play on this map so badly. Today I learned that there's a first person view drone racing mod for Minecraft, and it works beautifully. The player who added in the nether farmland also added in another useful thing for the nether. This mod adds in a new potion that lets you see way better underneath lava. And I think this player is getting ready for a nether only survival SMP so he's making all of these mods to support it. Okay, so this clip is a little confusing. It's the Better Portals and Little Tiles mod working together to basically make a tree TARDIS. This mod isn't some crazy game-changing one or one that drastically changes physics, but it's a nice subtle addition that I think should be added into the game. This player has made it so when you give your boots feather falling, you won't actually break teal soiled when landing on it, which is a very cool concept. Okay, okay, back to the mind blowing ones. This one is crazy. Web Displays is a mod that does just that. It allows you to browse any website from the comfort of your in-game worlds. You can even watch my videos and maybe even drop a like on them too if you're feeling generous enough. Or maybe just rickroll your friends instead. Oh, and yeah, it even supports Discord. This next section is dedicated to the create mod, which is just too good. You should definitely check it out if you don't know what it is. Sleeper Pin actually created this working Rubik's Cube that actually attempts to solve itself. The Create mod has to be one of the best mods out there right now. All aboard the Create monorail. Next stop, the Never, aka Death.
What better way to end the video than with a machine that will automatically make cake for you? I couldn't think of a better way of ending it myself, but wow, you made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it, right? Please make sure that you've left a like on the video, subscribed, and left a comment, and letting me know what was your favorite mod. Every interaction you give this video and my channel really does go a long way. Thank you so much. I have more videos on screen and on my channel that I know you will enjoy, so go check it out, why not? It's only a few clicks, and you won't regret it.